Okay, so before I go on, I'd like to introduce to you my co-host, one and only, Bobby the Player. Hey, what's up, Bobby? Uh, not much. I'm a little thirsty, though. All right. Okay, we'll answer this question and I'll give you a beer. What is... Star Wars. A movie? Yeah, right! Woo! You won Bobby! Again! Dr. Katie Sermersheim. I'm the Director of Student Development here at Southern Illinois University Carbondale. Out of the eight charges the fraternity uh, was charged with, I have found them in violation of all eight charges. Therefore, I am permanently suspending Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity from our campus. Each chapter must comply fully with all risk management policies. Chapter members are responsible for knowing the rules. Ignorance is no excuse. Currently, we're only 5% of the university community are members of uh, a fraternity or sorority. On a national average, that would be 10 to 15%. I think it's a lifetime experience. It's a community experience that very few others had. And I think it's exciting that we're part of the largest and longest student organization almost in the whole world uh, and and certainly in the United States. When you're here uh, you know as a Greek uh, you, you still have someone watching over you with what some people maybe don't like but I, I think it serves as a great tool in terms of it, it just keeps it, it just keeps you from going out of control and doing things that you really shouldn't do when you come down to college. It keeps you focused on the sole reason that you're here is you know getting an education. Students involved in the fraternities and sororities contribute a great deal to the campus community in general. Uh, everything from community service, uh, the, when you look at the overall amount of community service hours that are given to the Carbondale community in any given semester, the Greek population has a very high percentage in that as far as contributions. when the original Greek role was built. The chancellor <laughs> president at that time was Dwight Morris. One thing he did that uh, prevented our growth in the Greek community was uh, mandated that you could not come on this campus as a new Greek organization unless you lived on campus in Greek role outside of the university housing, which um, in itself is basically dorms um, with Greek letters on them. Um, there aren't too many houses in the Carbondale area that can, that can serve um, 20, 20 plus men. So it really is restricting in terms of even having a chapter house. There's many organizations on this campus um, just do, do not have a house because of that reason that they can only fit five to 10 guys in a house. Future Greek housing is looking very good. Um, Supposedly, from the knowledge that I have, uh, fall 2008, 
is when the new Greek row will be up. Um, it's actually uh, uh, the third priority on the housings list. The style of housing and all that good stuff hasn't been selected yet, so we don't know if they'll be um, dorm style again or if they will be your typical Greek housing in terms of columns and, and that good stuff. The Theta Xi Variety Show is in its, um, I believe, the 67th year of production. The way that Theta Xi works is that um, there's uh, three different levels of competition, a large group, uh, medium-sized group, and small group, very simple. Um, large group usually uh, pertains to a fraternity and sorority pairing up, um, and uh, they usually have 12 minutes to put on a large-scale production, you know, backdrop, dancing, singing, the whole shebang. I believe the Theta Design Variety Show serves um, as a way to exhibit uh, Greeks' talent on, on this campus, and it's also a way to show that um, Greeks do give back in terms of the scholarship that's awarded. We expect students to come to us. We say, well, geez, we've advertised. We put a poster up in the student center and no one signed up for recruitment. You know, it's like it, it's about personal contact. We have to go out there and get people. And what has happened is even in the seven years I've been here, uh, the recruitment numbers have gone down. Okay, well, that's all for this week. Tune in next week where it's school pride and we we'll dive off the top of the admissions building into a cup of beer. Yeah. Our, our stereotype is, is out there and we have to change it. The stereotype involves alcohol, hazing. Those are pretty serious things and I think a lot of us hope we represent more than that. Smitty, Wojo, Big Dave, Hooter, and the Toad. I'm going to shut your house down if you don't pass tomorrow's exam. Forget you, Dean. We're going cruising in my dad's beamer to pick up some ecstasy for our party with the Kappas. <laughs> But movies like uh, uh, Animal House have really, really shaped the way um, people think fraternities should be. So that they come in thinking it's supposed to be like Animal House and then they try to carry out these um, preconceived notions, um, which really does <clears throat> uh, become a struggle when we're trying to educate against that.